Joining us now is uh, Raghav Chadda, the Aam Aadmi Party MP from Punjab, who has uh, recently been given a role in Gujarat elections also. Uh, Raghav, news at this point uh, that is breaking is uh, Durgesh Pathak has also been summoned by the ED and he is on his way to the uh, office of the election uh, of the enforcement directorate. Look, uh, the idea behind all this, this blatant abuse of state instrumentalities is to go after every leader of the Aam Aadmi Party. Now we, it has been uh, uh, made public that the election in charge of the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, upcoming municipal polls in Delhi, that is the MCD election, uh, my colleague Durgesh Pathak has also been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate. He has no connection with the ongoing inquiry. He was not the Finance Minister of Delhi. He was not even an MLA at that point in time but for some reason he's been summoned. So therefore, um, it is writ large that the attempt of the BJP is to completely destroy Aam Aadmi Party by using the weight of instruments of the state like the CBI, like the income tax, like the enforcement directorate. Uh, you are Aam Aadmi Party's MP in uh, Punjab. Uh, now, Chandigarh is on the boil uh, when it comes uh, to the you know issue that has happened in that university. A lot of uh, students, that is women students, are completely uh, you know uh, troubled and disturbed by what has happened. Uh, what is your reaction on that? Uh, look, first of all, the incidents uh, that took place in the Chandigarh University is uh, extremely horrifying and, and and it's a very sensitive one. Mm -hmm. The administration, whether it's the civil administration or the uh, SSP, IG and senior officials of the Punjab police, including senior female officers of the Punjab police, uh, have been uh, in the university interacting with the students, bringing down the tempers and assuring them that swift action is being taken. FIR has been registered. The accused, uh, the, the girl student who allegedly recorded the video has been arrested. Uh, that student's uh, friend who was based in Himachal Pradesh has also been nabbed. Forensic investigation is going on. The premises of the hospital has been searched by our teams, etc. And all I can say is that justice will prevail. Swift action will be taken. And I can assure all students that whoever has uh, indulged in this crime, uh, that those people will not be spared. I just appeal as my leader, Mr. Kejriwal, the Honorable Chief Minister of Punjab, Mr. Bhagwant Man, all have appealed to all students, uh, to the aggrieved families also, to just maintain peace, keep calm, have faith in the civil administration, in the Punjab police, and the results shall be delivered. Why is it taking so long uh, for uh, students to calm down? Civil administration on the ground, including the district magistrate, etc., who can answer. Uh, there have been negotiations. I am told that... Uh, the late evenings, uh, uh, you know, congregation that happened yesterday has been successfully concluded and students are satisfied with the assurances as well as the steps taken by the government. Uh, uh, Raghav, uh, le uh, what about Amanatullah Khan, another controversial MLA who is consistently under scrutiny? Let me tell you that every agency of the state is being unleashed on the Aam Aadmi Party with only and only one motive, that is to destroy Aam Aadmi Party, to destroy Arvind Kejriwal. And I say that because it's not just me who is the member of the Aam Aadmi Party, but as a citizen of this country, as an independent political analyst, as a student of Indian politics, it's writ large that 2024 is a Modi versus Kejriwal election. If there is one political party that has what it takes to take on the might of the BJP, that is the Aam Aadmi Party. Therefore, all agencies have been unleashed on all leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party with one objective, to destroy Aam Aadmi Party, to destroy Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, let's come to Gujarat now. You, you have been appointed as the Saha Prabhari of Gujarat after Punjab. Why do you think you have been given this role and what exactly your role is going to be in Gujarat? Well, first of all, I uh, thank my leader, Mr. Kejriwal, from the bottom of my heart to, uh, for considering me worthy enough of such a huge, such a big responsibility of a challenging election like the upcoming Gujarat 2022 election. Uh, my role, my focus, my area of uh, visits, etc. are things that you will get to know in, in, the, in the time to come. However, Would it be I similar to what you did in Punjab? Right, right from selection of candidates to handling the media to being the spokesperson 
uh, trying to set the agenda, backroom work. Look, every election is a different election mm. and everyone plays a unique role in an election. Mm. There is no one person mm. who can, uh, you know, who can be credited with uh, getting the party together and fighting the election. Mm. It's a set of people. I may be uh, the of official co-in-charge, but that doesn't mean I'm the only person who's working. There are thousands and thousands of selfless, mm. selfless workers of the Aam Aadmi Party who perhaps work harder than I do, number what? one. Number two. The larger thing, mm. the larger, the larger focus of the Aam Aadmi Party is is going to be the uh, on the on the narrative of badlav, and that is uh, what Guj Gujarat has been yearning for. Mm. For the last 27 years, they've had the uh, the same political party run the administration. People are fed up of the BJP, and therefore they're yearning for change. Something similar to what you saw in in Delhi in the year 2013 and 2015, when after 15 years, 15 long years of the Congress's rule, people opted not for the BJP, but for the Aam Aadmi Party. They gave us a chance. And ever since that moment, every time, whenever Delhiites have to uh, vote, they choose Arvind Kejriwal. What are your biggest challenges going to be in Gujarat? Remember, we are talking about Gujarat, which is the home state of the Home Minister and also the Prime Minister. And you would also acknowledge that Prime Minister Modi's uh, popularity is at a peak right now. It's not what about it's, it's it's not about individuals. It's mm. it's about um, you know the issues of Gujarat, from electricity to water, rampant corruption to Gujarat and Gujarat sport becoming an entry point for drugs in, uh, into India, to uh, massive massive unemployment despite being labelled as the industry mm. state. There are several issues that are plaguing Gujarat, mm. and I think what people want from up which is a solutions-oriented political party, is to offer simple solutions to these mega-complex problems that, that, that have been plaguing Gujarat. And whether if you were to study our Guj Punjab campaign, you would find Aam Aadmi Party picked up issues that bother people in their day-to-day -day lives and offered solutions. And something similar is happening in Gujarat. The other way of looking at Gujarat is that it's a fight between AAP and BJP. Congress is out of the race. People of Gujarat have now realized that voting for Congress essentially tantamounts to wasting your vote. And I think by the time Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo is over, Congress's Congress Chodo will be over in Gujarat and everyone would have left the sinking ship that is the Congress. What is your challenge in Gujarat? What is the challenge for the Aam Aadmi Party? After all, Congress has been there uh, for, for long and it has consistently got over 50 seats. And 77 was the highest that it got last time. So, aren't you being too dismissive of the Congress and the BJP? Look, uh, as far as challenges are concerned, hmm. every election has several challenges, hmm. from organizational challenges to campaign-related challenges to finding candidates, the right people hmm. to manage the constituency, so on and so hmm. forth. And I can do a whole laundry list of challenges that my political party and every political party for that matter faces in an upcoming election. However, I'm not being dismissive of the hmm. Congress. The fact is that Congress itself is responsible for its own failures and therefore an average voter of Gujarat mm. is not viewing this as a three-cornered fight. They are viewing this as a straight fight between the mighty BJP and an upcoming solutions-oriented upright Imandar party like Arvind Kejriwal's Aam Aadmi parties. When it's a straight fight, so people have to choose between a party that's been ruling for 27 years and has just given more of the same or a new party that is a political alternative to the BJP, not just in the state but at the national level, to provide solutions to the problems that are plaguing Gujarat and the lives of the people on a day-to-day -day basis. Who will be your chief ministerial candidate? Uh, these, are, these are questions we'll, we'll discuss and, and, and have conversations about in the coming days. Thank you.